Hello everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful week. I'm here to finally talk about, share with you, go through all of it about magnetic eyelashes. I had every intention of having this up sooner, but for one, I had a sick baby last week and that comes first, will always come first. And second, I filmed this and when I went to edit it, the parts of me actually showing you how to apply them I was completely out of the picture. I don't I don't know what I was thinking, what I was doing, but I just left the screen and I was like, well, that's not really going to be very helpful. But we're going to go through it today. I'm going to give you all of my thoughts, the good, the bad, and this trick hack that I found that for me made all the difference in the world. I have very, very natural makeup on today because I really wanted you to see how well these can be hidden. Um, no eyeliner, no eyeshadow, just some mascara, but mascara is key. So if you're interested in knowing all about these babies, keep on watching. We're going to get right into it. So I have the Ardell magnetic eyelashes. I picked them up at my local Walgreens. I picked up the accents and what that means is it's more of just a half or an outer lash instead of an entire strip lash. I personally feel that it's a little bit easier to work with and much more believable as a false lash um, because everyone naturally has sparser lashes here in the inner corner by your tear ducts um, and that magnet's going to be harder to disguise. So I have not played with a full strip lash. I automatically gravitated towards these and I had some success with them. And I've worn them several times. So I will walk you through how I got them to work so well and kind of a history I think first is necessary for me and lashes. I have worked here locally as a makeup artist at a studio for 14 years now. So on any given Saturday, I can glue on, say, 15 to 30 pairs of false lashes. And over 14 years, <laughs> that becomes a little bit of like a anxiety point for me. He's thinking about measuring them and trimming them and then gluing them, waiting for the glue to get tacky and getting them on, making sure that the client keeps their eyes closed and that um, there's no glue transfer on the lid and you go back over it with the liner. You get the idea. So that's a lot of lashes. For me, when it came to doing my makeup, it was the last thing that I wanted to fool with because <laughs> I didn't have the best feelings towards the false eyelashes. I have worn them. They're gorgeous. Not knocking that one bit. I think that false lashes are amazing. So if you wear them, I love it. I think that it's fantastic. I just personally have not worn them regularly I don't really keep them for that reason because I put them on so much. I, I, mean, I do it in my sleep. I put them on other people in my sleep and it's just, oh, I'll get off that soapbox. Now, the trick that I found, and I will show you, these are the ones I've been wearing. Yes, this is an old retainer case, but it is the best way for me to keep them put. So there's the two pair that I've kind of been wearing. I have another set on hand here, obviously, to show you. Um, those are still good. I've probably worn them four or five times. I don't need a new pair yet, so they're holding up really, really well. I just wanted to have a fresh pair to show you the upper and the under and kind of the idea behind it as far as sandwiching your lashes together. So I did a little research, and I believe I watched a video by the blushing brush. I will try to link her video below because that's where I found out about this. Um, and I think that she used a full strip lash and I'm just using the accents, but I applied the same thing. Is with the unders, what you do is you section off your magnets and you make, you, you cut the magnets. So you cut it into threes, just the under. So you can place your top on top of your lashes. And I'm about to show you with mine. You place that on the top and then one at the time, you can do the outer and you're just doing one magnet at a time and do the inner and then I usually do the middle. Um, and it made it so much easier because you can just take one magnet at a time. You're not having to try to get all three magnets to go at the same time and be right where they need to be. 
And it was just like, that was the best trick. And I I really like these. Again, I've I've worn them several times now just for fun, out to dinner. Um, They're fun. The more you work with them and practice and do it, you get better and better. So yeah, if you're someone that wants to play with these, try this hack, this trick. It really changes everything because you can just do, 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 do one at a time and get those magnets really close to your lash line. And I find that they're virtually invisible and I don't have any problem with them moving around, um, you know, sliding through my lash like they stay put. And another thing I want to touch on is that these are not heavy. If you've worn false lashes before, you know that you kind of have that initial oh, when you open your eyes that adjustment for your lids to kind of build up their muscle strength to support the glue in the whole lash band. Um, And it takes a while and you can feel them. At least I can. I know most of my clients can. I'm like, okay, give it a second and I'll kind of work my um, spoolie through to kind of comb them through and blend them together and make them feel better. But you can feel them and they're heavy. So I thought magnets, these are these are going to be crazy heavy. They're not. They feel so much better to me than a normal lash. So I'm going to show you how I clipped these and put these on. I'm going to do my best to actually be in focus this time. Um, and yeah, show you how they look. Okay, so I've moved in just a little bit. And I will try to come forward as I start putting them on to give you a close-up. And you can probably see my mirror here. And I apologize for that, but I've got it here because I didn't want to keep crouching down in my mirror um, and go out of view. So I'm sorry that you can see this, but I need it so I don't stab myself in the eye. Another thing that I feel is very helpful is this. Now, do as I say, not as I do. Do not use your tweezers because you're going to poke yourself in the eye and you're going to get hurt. So I'm not saying use tweezers. Do not do it. I'm a ding dong. If I poke myself, it's on me, but don't use it. Get They make little lash helpers or lash applicators. Get one of those. Don't use your tweezers. So here's my first lash. I've got my upper here. Can you see it? Here's my upper. Then I've got my three pieces that I, I clipped here and they will start to kind of um, magnetize together. Now, when you clip them, it's really easy to tell which one goes with which magnet. It's very easy to tell the outer, the middle, and the inner. Make sure that you get your little lash helper, not your tweezers, on the end of the lash, not next to the magnets, because if you are using a metal device, it'll stick to it. And I'm just gonna place that right where I want it. And I'm gonna start with the inner one because it's right here. Set these down. Okay, I'm going to pick up my inner one on the tips and I'm going to hold that magnet, magnet, I'm going to hold that lash kind of down real close so that that magnet stays close to my lash line. And boom, there it is. Now I'm gonna take the outer, do the same thing, push them down. Boom. And you can feel them, by the way, kind of pull up in there. And then my middle. He went to the wrong spot. Okay. He decided he wanted to be an outer. So, I'm going to put my inner one back on. All right. All right, middle. No more attitude. There we go. And you can obviously see the difference. Okay. My top, I'm 
placing right where I want it. There's no glue, so you can move it around and adjust it, get it where you need to. Let's see, what is this? Okay, this is my inner again, so we'll get him right there. And my outer. Whether you start with an inner or an outer, I find that it's easier to do the edges and do the middle last just because it really kind of secures that. It secures them down and they're not um, coming up on either side. So that's that's just wor what's worked best for me is to get the sides down. And now Mr. Middle. Voila. Cutting them into threes again made all the difference for me. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Um, so that you can see and I think that they're fun it was um, it gets easier and easier every time that I do it it gets quicker if for whatever reason you try to put them on one night and they're just not working. There's no glue. You haven't messed up your makeup. Set them aside. Try it again next time. So it's um, it's something fun to try if you've ever been interested in lashes or if it's just kind of been the whole process of trimming them and getting them, you know, to work and to not mess up with the glue and you know, that whole, whole ordeal. These might be a good option. I think they're fun. I will continue to wear these. I have another pair on hand. I had another pair on hand. I was very skeptical. I was definitely a Scrooge about it. I was definitely very bah humbug and pessimist. Like, I'm not gonna like these. I don't like false lashes, but I was wrong. I hope that that trick is as helpful for you as it was for me, and that this is something you feel you can now do and try, because I think that they're great and they're fun. So have fun with your makeup. Don't worry about ruining your makeup with glue. And if you can't get them one time, set them aside and try them again the next time. Um, and do not use your tweezers. Please hit that thumbs up, that like button, and please subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you'll have a great week. Please comment any feedback, any thoughts you have, any videos you'd like to see next. Um, I'd love to interact with all of you. And yeah, I hope that this was helpful. I hope you try it. Let me know if you do. Super fun. I think that this is a really cool new product and I will continue to wear them. So y'all have a great week and I will see y'all next time.